with uh, that front moving in, we're going to go position ourselves upstream here. Those clouds will be in here uh, soon. Uh, it's actually very windy today. You can't tell it here because we're, we're nestled in the river. But it is very windy and that front's moving in. So let's get started. What I have here, folks, is I have uh, the new T-Turn three-way swivel by Thundermist Lure Company. And below that I have about a foot and a half of line to a bottom bouncer style sinker. And this has a, a wire bottom to it and what that's going to do, it's going to just walk along the bottom uh, over top of the rocks and keep me tangle free. And at the other end, what I have is just a minnow type, uh, wobbling minnow type bait. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down and I'm going to work it along the bottom and that bait's going to work behind and I don't have to worry about getting tangled up because as you can see here with that T-turn swivel, um, there's absolutely no tangle. It stays tangled free and uh, allows me to spend more time fishing. You know, and with that no stretch line, that braid I'm running, I can feel absolutely every single little bump on the bottom there. That line is so, so sensitive. And when you couple that line with a graphite rod, you feel everything. And then again, with that fluorocarbon leader, what that's doing for me is as I'm bouncing around with all these rocks down there, that fluorocarbon leader whoops, is uh, a little more abrasion resistant. So it's going to uh, help prevent against nicks and that sort of thing. And it also, with these trout that are very, very finicky fish, that uh, fluorocarbon leader is more or less transparent and that sure helps with these spooky fish so we don't want to give them any reason not to hit that lure so between the uh, abrasion resistance and the virtually invisible factor the fluorocarbon gets the nod for sure this is the absolute perfect drift right now I've got a nice current going that bottom bouncer is just dragging the bottom ever so slightly and uh, all you want to do is always make sure you're in constant contact with the bottom. So as this structure changes and the depths change, you let out a little bit more line or take on a bit of slack, uh, like right now. And uh, always make sure that, that that bottom bouncer is dragging the bottom because that's where you want to be. These trout are going to be sitting... Oh, we're turning around here a bit. These trout are going to be sitting in that structure because there's such strong current here, what they're going to do is they're going to be sitting behind rocks and behind structure and waiting for, uh, waiting for their next meal to come by. And in particular, right now, in the Niagara River here, it's just chock full of, uh, of smelts. The smelts have moved in and uh, these fish are just gorging themselves on smelts. And that's why I'm using that minnow imitator type bait right now today because that's what they're feeding on. Uh, you can probably hear the seagulls in the background. The birds are diving. Uh, they're feeding uh, very, very actively. There's just so many, uh, so many smelts right now in this river system. Um, it's just like a fish factory in here right now. So we're going to keep fishing. But again, bottom bouncing. This is just, just absolutely perfect. There's a hookup, folks. That was a real nice hit. Just bouncing along the bottom there. I watched the structure. We. Uh, Actually, we just dropped into 28 feet of water. I'm thinking it's a lake trout. But the bottom here, the bottom is really irregular. Uh-oh. Yeah, and I felt just as I come over that, there was a bit of a break from about 24. I'm just looking at my graph now. 24, and it dropped down. I'm in 28 feet right now. And I'm thinking I hooked into a lake or not that big mind you he's dogging it though there he is there I, the water's a little murky what it, it, it looks like a lake trout oh, wait a minute no, maybe not oh it might be a brown I can't tell the water's a little murky here we had some nasty nasty wind yesterday uh, really heavy winds. We tried to get out in the lake and couldn't get out and that uh, heavy winds has churned this water up and its uh, visibility isn't the greatest right now. Oh, here he is. There he is. There he is. It's a brown trout. It's a nice brown at that. Oh, he's going back down again. Beautiful brown trout, folks. 
Okay. Nice. There we go. One-handed net job. He's got a lamprey. Mo oh, look at that. He just come off too. He just come off. Okay. Oh, that's a nice, nice brown trout, folks. Look at that fish. Hey. Nice fish. They got that uh, squarish type uh, tail on them there. But look, I want to show you. If you look at this side, it's got a lamprey mark on the side there. So he did have a lamprey on him at one point, but uh, he doesn't look any worse for wear. That's a nice fish. He's pretty thick and heavy too. Okay, we're gonna get him back in the water. Whoa, okay. <laughs> All right, that was great. Well, we'll see what else we can get out here. That's the beauty of this fishing Niagara River. You never know what you're gonna get. Brown trout, lake trout, rainbows, they're all in here. So we're gonna keep going back at it, get these lines back down there again. And again, oh, just take this out of the net. You know, these rubber nets, it's, uh, it's my bass net, really. And I gotta tell you, folks, I use this net for everything. Uh, it's not necessarily the greatest when you're going for salmon or big trout, but I just like the fact that it's, uh, it's got the rubber on it and you don't, you don't get your lines tangled up um, that easily. It comes out real, real nice. So there are some bigger nets too with, uh, with rubber as well and, uh, and those are better for these larger fish, but for today's purposes, it's working just fine. With this T-turn swivel, again, I don't have to worry about anything getting tangled here in the line it's because it's completely uh, completely tangle free so I'm actually going to toss my line out just a bit let it get right down to the bottom and then begin bottom bouncing just drifting just ever so slowly and letting that bait work its way along the bottom perfect I got a perfect drift going right now uh, I can see the end of my rod tip is just kind of moving, just, just trickling away. That's telling me that the lure is working, and that's all I need to know at this point. I know I'm at the bottom. I know that T-turn's got me completely tangle-free and working away. And that's the exciting part now, is just uh, waiting for that next hookup. <laughs> 